All right, what is up, guys? Take care, and I thought I would bring you guys some live commentary of some Battlefield Hardline. Um, specifically, uh, maybe some live explanation, um, or just a live discussion about what my thought process is, uh, live throughout a game of Battlefield Hardline. Um, sort of the decisions that I'm making, why I'm making decisions, those sort of things. Um, it's kind of like a Mind Games episode. Mind Games was a series on YouTube that I really, really enjoyed. Some of my favorite Battlefield players, some of my favorite, uh, Battlefield YouTubers actually, um used to do this uh, kind of thing. It really helped me transition from uh, sort of a guy who only played Call of Duty into someone who really enjoyed the Battlefield franchise. Uh, so we're playing Conquest on the map Hollywood Heights, which is definitely a smaller map. Um, it does play long in certain areas, like the hills on either side, but it's generally a smaller map. So we'll stick with the mechanic class. We'll stick with the FMG9, uh, and we'll see what we can get done. I've already gone ahead and put myself into a full squad of four, so I'll have plenty of spawn options here. My teammate here looks like he's in trouble on Charlie. I'm going to see if I can get a spawn off on him. I'm going to turn around and maybe help. There are two or three guys on my right here, and there's one behind, so I'm going to have to push. Oh, well, yeah, I was, I was getting sandwiched on both sides. That wasn't the greatest spawn. Um, I tried to be aggressive there, but it just didn't really work out for me. We have the... The D side spawn, and they have the E side spawn, and we have taken E, so we do have a pretty strong foothold on this map. Um, and I think I don't want to spawn with this guy again. Generally, on this map, C is definitely the point that I try and avoid. There's just too much chaos going on on that map, on that side of the map. Plus, the elevation doesn't really help either. It looks like there's a couple guys up here. No, are they underneath me? Now, one guy saw me there, so I'm going to get out of there. There are some spawn beacons that look like they're underneath. Ow. Um, but there seems to be a bunch of guys crawling underneath, which is probably because they have Bravo. So I wasn't really going to start pushing those beacons just yet. Looks like a couple guys are taking Echo. I'm going to see if I can spawn out there. Just in case we can't pull it off. We'll have a beacon down. Let's see what we can do. Ooh, that was pretty bad shooting. I really should have had him before he turned that corner. A little bit rusty. I haven't played Hardline in a couple days. Uh, with The Witcher 3 coming out soon. Uh, I have been playing that uh, for a little while. Which has maybe hurt my potential skill. Who knows? I'm sure it hasn't. I'm sure it's not going to take me that long to get back into it. But this is live. This kind of shit happens. Spawn on eggs. It's really the only one we have. It looks like there's a lot of guys either above or underneath. Better. What guys are flanking around towards Alpha? There's a really good example of the strength of the FMG9. Not only is it an SMG that is really close and deadly um, in those sort of close range areas, but it definitely is competent at range as well, which isn't something that you can say for all of the uh, SMGs in this game. Suspect over here! Some of them are just downright terrible when you got any sort of range. I just ran over a beacon, but I know there's some guys here, so... Oh boy, I knew that guy was around me. The reload got me out there. Uh, but the FMG9 is probably my favorite gun in the game. Probably not the best gun in the game, but certainly my favorite gun in the game right now. Um, for a couple reasons. Uh, it's got a great ammo count. It's um, 32 bullets per mag, plus one in the chamber for 33. Uh, and it also has um, uh, just a really nice fire rate. I'm going to spawn this guy and see if I can help out Bravo. Like I said before, it is a competent gun at range as well. So it does, not like a lot of the SMGs in this game, using this weapon doesn't necessarily mean that you're completely... Um, out to lunch uh, with an SMG when you're going after guys at slightly longer range. Uh, losing Bravo and losing Delta. Delta is kind of the more important one at this point because it's the one that is essentially behind us in the middle of the map. It looks like there's one guy on it. I'm not sure if my friendly got the kill here. It doesn't look like he did. He might have just now. That might have been him. 
There is a spawn beacon out here. We'll go ahead and take that one out. That's actually a really clever beacon. We'll get our gun out, anticipating we need to fight. Like we need to take it out. Let's move on. Yeah, the other thing about the FMG9 is it's it's, it's hidden behind the rather challenging mechanic syndicate assignment. Uh, which is an assignment that not many people have even attempted, uh, let alone completed. Uh, so there is that factoring into it as well. It's nice to be able to use a weapon that isn't the M16 or the K10 or the, the handful of weapons that everyone uses in this game. There's a ton of guys here on Bravo. Let's lead with a grenade here. I'm actually in some sort of was it gla gas, something like that? I couldn't see what it was, but... I'm really low on health. I don't really want to peek this corner unless I have to. We did clear out, but there's a lot of guys around this corner. And I still haven't replenished health. Yeah, it's nice to be able to use a weapon that is uh, essentially not the K-10 or the M-16 or some of the other really popular weapons in the game. And of course a weapon that not many people have. It's a good grenade. That's a really good grenade. I'm gonna go for it to see here. I don't really have a weapon. I'm gonna hope that... There we go. Uh-oh. That didn't work out too well for me. There's a downside to the FMG9, you probably just saw it. For whatever reason, it seems to go... It seems to have one less magazine uh, compared to the others. There's a guy on A here to my left, looks like he just moved towards the RPG. Teammates cleared him up. It seems to have one less... Um, let's just get rid of this. No, get rid of it. There we go. Uh, one less magazine compared to all the other SMGs in the, in the game. Uh, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense. I'm not sure if that was error or by, by design, some sort of balancing thing. Um, but one thing you do notice is that you run out of ammo very, very quickly while using the FMG9. Um, so it really forces you to learn where all of the various ammo lockers are on the map, like this one. Most maps do have an ammo locker, so it's not the end of the world, but it still can be a real big pain in the ass, like you just saw. We've actually kept everything here, so we have a strong hold on this map. We're losing Alpha. I'm gonna go out towards Alpha just because I'm too lazy. Get that guy out of the van. Doesn't matter if it was the driver though. Take this guy out and then we'll hop into these. This bush thing here. I like capping alpha from it because you get a little bit of visual cover from these things. It's not always super easy to see someone here. Roger. And we'll do that. And there's the work. One of my buddies. I'll hop into a party with him after I'm done this. We've got a van pushing through here. We'll keep an eye on this thing. There's a couple of snipers sitting in their deployment now. Which is really common on this map, especially when you're getting sort of multi cap like they are. We're gonna be careful there. We'll have a look and see what the hilltop looks like. It might actually be worth it to pull out a more of a ranged weapon, even a sniper rifle. Look at that. We'll be patient here and see where they move, but there are plenty of guys up on this hill. Probably moving down on my left here. One. There's two. Really good example of the FMG9 working out range the way it's supposed to. So you can see I am out of ammo. But I know where the ammo locker is here on this map, so... i back and get a bunch of ammo and then get back into the fight. Or not, there we go.
33 shots from Mag is a good number. Uh, you can pull off your double and triple sprays quite well uh, with that sort of clip. Let's move across the hill here so we don't get picked off. Bunch of guys out that way. Bunch of guys pretty much everywhere at this point. Let's try and focus on him. It looks like I just kissed some gas there. Gas obviously gives them double damage on you. Um, I didn't really have a chance there as soon as I hopped into that gas. Do I pull out the sniper? Let's pull out the sniper. I have unlocked the knockout, uh, but I don't use it all that much. Particularly because as ridiculously good as it is up close, um, it's essentially useless beyond 50 meters. It is a one-shot uh, kill at those distances beyond. Uh, at before 50. Um, but beyond 50, it's such a slow firing weapon that it's, it's essentially useless to use. Wow, three shots on that guy? Really? I am getting sniped myself here, so I'm going to be a little bit careful. I was out there taking Alpha as well, so I'm going to just keep an eye and see what's going on here. I'm going to look in towards the area, can't really see much, so I'm going to carry on. Looks like they're definitely sniping us back. Failing so hard right here, which is common when I do live shit. There we go. She got one kill. There was a second guy right there. Someone just ripped his head off. And that's a wrap. 16 and 7. A fairly straightforward round. Had a pretty good team there. Um, I really pushed them deep into their spawns, so. Pretty good round, personally. Pretty good round for the team. Looks like Riptide is our next uh, map. Riptide is a much bigger map, and I